Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at one of the figures in Hasbro's new Marvel Legends three and a quarter inch scale action figure line. Now this is a rebranding of the Marvel Infinite series line, which was a rebranding of the Marvel Universe line. We now have basically all of Hasbro's collector-oriented uh, figures under the Marvel Legends brand. And that's done mostly for marketing purposes, I think, so that stores essentially think that they're ordering all Marvel Legends or something along those lines. But basically it's a marketing strategy to name everything the same. So anyway, we've got new style of packaging and, and such with this line. Now today I'm going to focus on the Black Panther figure. Now I'd be interested to hear what other figures you want to see me review in this line. So let me know in the comments what figure you'd like to see next in a review. Um, out of these we've got Ulick, Spider-Man Noor, the Inhuman Triton, Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man Mark I, Spider-Man from the House of M, and Captain Marvel. Okay, and as I mentioned, for today we're going to focus on the Black Panther figure, and with a new name we also get new packaging. Now, the packaging is the same, exact same size as the Infinite series. You can see the Deadpool figure from the last wave of Infinite series, and it's basically the same size and shape and everything. The figure is clearly displayed in the same manner. The biggest difference is we now get some individualized artwork for each character on the front. So you can see here up at the top we have the Marvel Legends series logo and the Black Panther artwork and then the figure clearly displayed. On the back of the packaging we have a look at the figure, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then other figures in this first wave. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now the figure does not come with any accessories at all. It is just done in a basic black plastic. There's not a lot of paint applications on this figure. He does have the whited out eyes, but that's really the only paint on the figure other than, like I said, the solid black throughout the rest of the body. The um, figure incorporates an older Marvel Universe mold, so we do have more articulation than we have become accustomed to with the more modern figures in this line, thankfully. Now one hand is sculpted so it's kind of in that clawing motion, and then the other hand is sculpted so it's closed fisted. I like the overall detail. This is the second time we've gotten a Black Panther figure. Black Panther obviously is going to be a big... Uh, make his big debut in the upcoming Captain America Civil War movie, so that's probably why we're getting another updated version. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting a movie version in, in this scale anytime soon, at least not with a lot of articulation. We might see a five points of articulated version. As it is, I don't think we're going to be getting a Marvel Legends three and a quarter inch movie Black Panther anytime soon. But this is the second time we've gotten a comic book version. The first time was, I believe the first one was released in the first wave of Marvel Universe figures maybe the first or second and it does not have as much articulation as, as this uh, new figure it didn't have the ab crunch or anything like that now that figure is a little bit bigger a little bit bulkier but um, and also on that one you have the more traditional line work on his boots and hands like like we have been accustomed to with Black Panther at least the older Black Panther costume I don't know if his new costume has those lines on it or not um, but definitely that's missing on this new figure okay so this figure stands about four and a quarter inches tall and as I mentioned before he is shorter than that first uh, Marvel Universe Black Panther figure that was released. Here's Black Panther next to his arch nemesis Claw and Claw is a little bit taller than Panther. And then here he is next to some other Marvel Universe figures, Iron Man, Submariner, Reed Richards, and Captain America. For articulation, as I mentioned, it uses an older Marvel Universe body so it's actually got fairly decent articulation. Head's on a ball joint so he can look left and he can look right. He doesn't have a whole lot of down movement but he can look up a little bit. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint and get his arm all the way out. He's got good rotation. He's got the bicep swivel, single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much. Now on this one arm, um, the, it doesn't really suffer from gummy joints, but the the lower arm um, that hooks into the the pegs on the upper arm, kind of, the, you can see here the plastic kind of... Um, bulges out a little bit. I don't know why that is. It's not like that on the other arm. Um, it almost looks like it's going to pop off. It hasn't. I haven't had any problems with it, but it, it does you know, look a little bit funny. Has uh, swivels at the wrists, no hinges or anything, but does have the swivels. Has a midsection joint, so you've got rotation there, and you can crunch down, and he can look back. 
legs are attached with ball joints so he can get the legs out pretty good, get his leg forward pretty good, and can't do his leg back too much because of the butt. He's got double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. Tinges on his feet, so he has pretty good up and down movement, and he's got rotation at the ankle, but he does not have ankle pivot, and then two peck holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, this is a nice figure. I like to see the return of articulation to the figures in this line. Granted, it's an older sculpt, but I'm more than happy to go with older sculpts as long as they have good articulation. Now, this figure is out on shelves now. Well, actually, I should say it's available online. I haven't actually seen any of these uh, at on physical shelves, but you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store. I'll put a link in the description below for that. And we'll have a full gallery of images up at MarvelousNews.com. Also a link in the description below for that. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, don't forget to let me know which figure in the line you want to see reviewed next. And until next time, I'll catch you later.